at that time, I felt that our kids needed to be involved in this, our, our grandkids and my, and my, uh, uh, in my way of, of, of being because I'm already older. Our grandkids, our kids also. Uh, my, my, my boys went to Sunnyside uh, uh, High School. Uh, they went to Desert View. Uh, and and uh, this contamination in camp encompassed all that all that area in there, uh, and I and I felt that that the the children should be brought in, and 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 given uh, the the information concerning what happened, and and uh, and I was hoping that this program would catch fire, and it would be throughout with time throughout the country, to where kids in school listen about or, or learn about contamination and what and what harm contamination can cause uh, to our health uh, I worked at that time I came up with the idea because at that time my cousin Raul Bejarano was a superintendent of the Sunnyside School District and and for me that was a big push because he was my cousin. And, uh, and we approached him, uh, about f four or five members of UCAB called him up and, and, and approached him concerning, we had a, a, a group meeting and, and, and I brought this idea up to him and uh, he liked it, he liked it. <coughs> because he comes, he, before he was superintendent here at Sunnyside School District, he had been superintendent op over in, uh, in the Nogales uh, uh, School District superintendent. He had been superintendent there. And since Nogales has also contamination problems, which filter in from the Mexican side of the border to the river, Santa Cruz River, uh, one of the only rivers in the world that runs from south to north. Most rivers run from north to south. Not Santa Cruz, it runs from south to north. But anyway, they had contamination problems over there. So he thought that was interesting and, and important that, uh, that we integrate uh, some kind of program for the, for the children. And uh, we, we brought it about, we brought it about. So it's, it's just not to put a feather in my cap but but uh, put a feather in UCAB's cap because UCAB it, it was about us, not me, uh, and uh, it became about it came about, and I don't even remember what year it was. Denise really probably I know it was in the two thousands, but it skips my mind as to what year it was when we came together with the superintendent of, of the Sunnyside School District and, and brought this idea up and, 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 uh, and, and built it up into uh, fruition, fruition or whatever the, the word is. But uh, uh, it was interesting. Different, different children and different high school students would come and, and I wanted to make this a part all the way down to kindergarten where these kids learn about what goes on regarding contamination from kindergarten all the way up to high school. And I, I was hoping, like I say, that this would be catch on and, and maybe other school districts throughout the country would take that interest. And I hope that the University of Arizona, with this uh, documentary that they're doing, uh, finds ways of working with other universities and colleges as to integrate some of these programs into, the, into their school systems in their states. And, and uh, that way we bring awareness to, uh, to the contamination problem. And contamination is all over the, the country. You know, it's it, it, it caused problems all over. And uh, I, I think it's important. <laughs>